Alrighty, then I know. Um, namaste everyone. Uh, welcome to Hindi University. Um, really excited to have all of you this Sunday. Uh, as you know, my name is Ashutosh um, and we meet every Sunday 8 a.m. US specific time, um, which is time on the, the west coast of the US and learn about the Hindi language. Um, for those of you who are completely new to Hindi University, you can learn more about us by going to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Hindi University. Um, and uh, if you want to join the, the live session that we have, uh, you know, you can learn more about them, you know, by going to our you know, main page that we have, which is uh, tiny.cc slash Hindi University. Uh, in this page, I highly recommend you bookmark it uh, so you can find all the, the links to join the, the Sunday classes, also the, the practice sessions we have throughout the week. Um, in case if you missed any of the previous classes, you can find the links here and also the details to join the, um, you know, the, the uh, Discord channel where we have, you know, the, the community interacting with each other, sharing different uh, quizzes as well as tips which will help you in this, you know, in the conversational part, you can get all the details here, okay. Um, as you know, uh, this year we've been following a blended curriculum, which is basically we uh, bringing together the beginners as well as the intermediate plus levels and uh, following multiple books together, which is includes like, you know, books from uh, Professor Richard DeLacy, he's a Hindi professor at the Harvard University. Along with that, we're following other books like Pingu Learns Hindi uh, and, you know, Rupert Snell's, um, you know, Teach Yourself in the Kavita Kumar and uh, Usha Jain. Okay, so with that being said, um, you know that we are covering chapter 12 so far uh, from Richard Delacy's book. Uh, we started with the uh, past tense. So this is about, uh, I would say, the third uh, session on the uh, on the uh, Richard Delacy's book. So far, we started with past tense brushing up the intransitive verbs. In the previous class, we really uh, st started laying the foundations for the, when you want to say the uh, past tense using the transitive verb, how do you use them, okay? In this class, we'll continue the topic in which we'll learn about some of the exceptions, okay? So with that being said, let me erase it and uh, we'll dive directly into the, uh, the, the transitive verb and how to use them in the past tense. So if you guys recall, uh, in the previous class, we um, wrote down multiple sentences, right? We, I'm going to give you like two minutes of like, or three minutes of quick summary. So when you write sentences in the past, such as like, I ate an apple. Uh, similarly, I gave, a, I gave a gift to John. Okay. Versus, you know, I slept or I went to Mexico like these are all sentences written in past tense okay but if you notice it when you're eating you know you're eating something okay uh, when you are giving you are giving it to someone okay this one when you're sleeping just an activity right when you're going you're going somewhere but again like there is no you will notice that there is no object in the in the last two sentences there's no object that is the recipient of the the action right you're not sleeping uh, something or you're not uh, sleeping um, or you're not you know you're going somewhere but there is no direct object right and we classify that whenever there is something or like you know a, 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 an object basically you know these are known as your transitive verb okay versus these two which there is no direct object these are known as your intransitive verb unlike english hindi will differentiate how the sentences will be formed in the past tense Okay, so far so good. Um, you know, we, we learned like, you know, when you are saying I went, right, you know, um, when you used to go, it's Jana in Hindi versus in the past tense, it changes into Gaya, Gai 
and gay okay so you will simply say like if i am saying it i'll say main gaya and if delhi is saying it she'll say main gayi so the conjugation is still happening based on the subject okay um wherein you use the transitive verb you know as opposed to the verb being conjugated based on the subject it's really on the object okay that was the main change and the other change was when transitive verbs are used in the past tense the subject is governed by another post position called ne so i ate an apple becomes me which is i and then along with that you will use a post position mane apple and then what is apple it's the masculine or a feminine so if it is a masculine you will say mane apple khaya okay mane apple khaya okay and if it is you're talking about strawberry you will say mane strawberry khai okay or similarly i gave a gift it would be mane if i am saying it or whether in delhi is saying it it will be same mane gift diya okay because gift is considered masculine singular or if you are saying it uh, mane gadi gadi is a watch mane watch d okay so this is just a uh, a quick quick very quick fast brush up i hope some of most of you remember um uh, the the basics for using the um transitive verb um uh, in the past tense so let me see if you have any questions before i jump to the next topic okay so so it's totally okay if some of you are just listening i i totally understand that right just you can write in the comments so i don't end up asking you question okay um so this was sort of our basics and i'm going to just do one more example before i jump to the uh to the the topic for today which is like where this thing may not apply okay um okay so i give one example which is imagine you have a sentence called i wrote a letter i wrote a letter okay i want all of you to think about how will you translate this in hindi okay so i give you all some time like 30 seconds take your time and tell me how will you say it in hindi i wrote a letter if you don't know how to say letter in hindi just say letter okay so you have time okay wow very good delia ji keep going everyone i wrote a letter i think by now everyone should know to to help everyone what is to write in hindi likhna very good likhna Likhna. Okay, so I wrote a letter, and um, okay, Mita ji, you want to unmute yourself and tell us how would you approach this sentence? So it would be um, uh, mene mm -hmm. patra mm -hmm. likha. Very good. I have a letter written, and I have written a letter. How did you approach it? What was your thought process? Why yeah. did you, Why couldn't you just write "I have a letter" because you are female? I have written a letter. You could have said that also, but why did you choose "I have written a letter"? Um, so I I chose "I have." Because mm -hmm. it was a transitive verb. It's something that you're doing to a letter. okay because you write something yep. or you can say what did you write yeah right? what, okay what's an object to it and mm -hmm. then um i put lika because lika is masculine singular what is masculine singular 
And so patra is masculine singular. So I just match lika up to that. Okay, because the verb is likna and you looked at the letter, letter is considered masculine singular, so you remove the na mm -hmm. from the verb and you change it to a. Okay, and then, and then? Uh, that's all I did. That's it, okay. So what if it was I wrote, instead of a letter, you had I wrote a poem? Um, so I think Kavita is poem and that's feminine. Mm -hmm. So that would be Mene Kavita or Mene Ek Kavita Likhi. Okay, Mene Ek Kavita Likhi. Okay, and why Likhi? Because Kavita is feminine and it's, okay. oh no, it isn't, it's masculine. Oh, no, it, it is it feminine. Is. Okay, yes. yeah, yes. feminine. Okay, well, okay, awesome. What if it was a very specific poem that you wrote and you want to point out that, you know, you know, let's say you want to say many ek kavita and there's more post position here. How will this change? Okay, uh, so if a post, no. mm -hmm. a post position comes into it, then I think, um, so let's say instead of I, okay, many a kavita and you want to write a specific kavita. Um, so, uh, ye kavita, would it be like this let this poem? Oh, uh, like, you know, I read a chapter, many chapter, you know, para, but you want to say I many chapter ko, let's oh. say you want to to use a post position co after this. How will this change? So this is correct. Many kavita likhi. Okay. You there are cases where you you will see, if not in this sentence, where you will see that after the object, many ek, and after the object, you will have a post position there, such as co. Mm -hmm. Okay, what will happen in this case? So let's say if you have some same thing, many kavita ko. How do you think it ends? Um, I'm not sure. Is this where you put the the oblique in? Okay, so the word was still likna. So many a kavita ko. Um, would it be likha or likhi? You understand the question though, right? Yeah, no, I understand what you're saying, but I just don't know the answer. You just have 50-50 chances, so take any, any, any guess. Okay, so okay. I'll, I'll go for um, uh, Lika. Lika, that is correct, actually. It's lucky. <laughs> yeah, so you will say, Mene Kavita ko Lika. Can anyone tell why that is happening? Yeah, very good. So Nandini ji is saying, it's because of co-blocker, okay? And right. because of this co, Yep. The, the verb will not get influenced by the object anymore, like it was happening before. Okay, because okay. you have this co, regardless of you, you, you wrote a kavita or a letter or many letters, right? I mean, you will still say, Mene a kavita ko likha. Okay, or Mene kavitaon ko likha. Okay, um, so I hope it makes sense, but this is sort of slightly. Now we are going into a slightly harder part where there are multiple rules coming together. Okay. Um, so so just I just ask you something, Ashuji. So uh, in that last sentence, if it's mene ek kavita ko likha, mm -hmm. um, if, if I was saying it, then do you match the likha to liki for me? Would it be mene kavita ko liki? No, it will be the same. Okay. Mene kavita ko likha. You will say the same thing. I will say the same thing. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are you so, saying Lika or Likna? Likha. Because you've written Likna. Okay, let me change it. Likha, sorry. Likha. Okay. Likha. Take a, take a moment to read this one because there are multiple rules coming here, right? So it, it's easier to... Let me write one more sentence, okay? Uh, maybe that's, that will help, okay? Uh, we didn't cover it in the previous class and uh, you know, it's, you know, it, it takes you... Uh, it takes you some time to get used to this one. Uh, so let me think about uh, another sentence, which is, uh, 
okay i same thing i was saying it before i gave a a gift to john okay let me make it a little bit harder uh, i gave uh this one will be easier for you okay this one will be easier okay it'll come to me okay it'll come to me so i'll bring it back okay but so far so good we're still in the transitive verb and uh, how to use them in the past tense now we will learn about uh, the the exceptions okay um so the next section is some words that you will notice they are um they are transitive in English, but when you're forming the sentence, they are not acting as transitive. Okay, so they are the words are transitives in English, but in Hindi, you know, in Hindi they are um, um, they are not considered transitive. Okay, Hindi. In Hindi, these verbs are not. These verbs are not considered. These are not considered transitive in the past tense. Okay, so this is the. the there are about four or five words. We'll go over it. Okay, so the first one is to bring. Okay, so these are nothing but exceptions. Exceptions. Uh, so the first one is to bring. What is to bring in Hindi? Anyone? Lana. Lana. Oh, Lana. Very good, right? Lana. Now you would wonder, like, you know, typically you bring something, right? I, I, and if you're saying in the past tense, you will say, I, I brought an apple. Okay. Like you bring something. So when you're making a, you know, question out of it, you would immediately, your brain will say, oh, there is, there is an object that is receiving the action. Like if I brought an apple or I brought some vegetable or I, I brought a, a laptop, you, you brought something, right? But in Hindi, when you're using Lana in the past tense, you will notice that it's an exception. Unlike in the previous cases, you know, which is most of the time when it is a transitive verb used in the past tense, you will notice the subject has ne. Okay. In this case, when you're using, you will not put ne with the subject. Okay. So if you were to simply say, I brought, how will you say it in Hindi? Okay, Sunita ji, what do you think? How will you say I brought in Hindi? Um, me se um, uh, liya. Okay, so the word is lana, not uh, buy or bought. Um, uh, laia, laia. Okay. Sorry. You will say me. Lai. Okay, me se say with apple and because you are saying it you will say me apple lie so what you've done is you remove the na for a masculine singular it would be laya okay masculine plural lie so it's masculine singular okay hmm? uh, for plural we say lie for feminine singular lie and feminine plural lie with an a life sound okay so uh, once again even though it's a transitive verb in english in hindi it is not considered transitive that's why you didn't put ne here okay and again it's the subject that is influencing the the verb conjugation so you will simply say me save lie and if i'm saying it sunita ji what will i say um may say liar 
very good mai sab laya right because it's the subject that is influencing the 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 verb conjugation so mai sab laya okay uh let's see you want to say any question so far before i do more practice on this one anyone thinking like what is happening doesn't make any sense anyone it's okay in case if it is hard you have not done exception before so yeah i'm finding it hard you finding it hard okay yeah. let's this one okay you want to say i or let's say yeah i brought a gift you have to put in your mental block you have to put them into exception category so these four verbs that we are covering you have to think of them as like they don't really follow the the same pattern they are sort of a rebellious word think of them as like you know they don't really follow <laughs> the the so how will you say jackie ji i brought a gift uh na ek gift lai lai okay yeah very good so me a gift me a gift lai very good me a gift lai okay this is because you are saying it if i am saying it, it will be say me a gift laya very good me a gift laya it's hard because is it because it's challenging the rules i why what what's the main part that kind of cuz you know? i forget over and over again about mene mm -hmm. and so that's hard enough and now there's four exceptions that break the rule i'm desperately trying to learn <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's a uh, yeah exceptions are there for sure um I mean, I wish they could could have kept it simple. Like, so there are only two main things you have to remember about. One is that there are certain exceptions, and the second is there are certain verbs that act both as transitive and intransitive. Okay, so you could use ne with them, you could use them without ne. You have seen some of them, but we'll be covering it. Okay, that's why I wanted a a dedicated session just for the exceptions, so you guys get. there be a little bit more comfort like you know that you know they they it's it's completely okay okay yeah so anyone else it's not too many not too many words ashu mm -hmm. is it is it incorrect then to put ne in in with laya and then it, would it be an intransitive verb so in this case you know you could still say and not to confuse anyone else but you know you can still say maine ek gift liya okay this is fine as well maine ek gift liya okay um this would work as well you know in in almost all cases and everyone can say it but this is just to highlight that you know uh, it's still an exception in the category yes nandini ji I can't speak now, uh, Ashuji. If I may say uh -huh. something, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh -huh. The reason why Lana is considered treated like an in intransitive word because it's a combination of lay Anna. That's correct. That's correct. So it's what she's saying is, you know, it's Lana is nothing but Lena plus Anna, and in the when we were to talking about rupert snell um you know we were we we also considered basically when you have two verbs combined together intransitive and transitive what is the output of it when it is transitive and transitive what is the output right so but what she's saying is underlying this is you know this is still uh, an intransitive when you are writing it uh, but in your your mind will still tell you like you know what you 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 bring something so you know it's it's transitive okay but nandini that rule will not work um in the next exceptions uh, list basically when you said <laughs> yes i agree i agree <laughs> but you're right you know if it helps for this one definitely lana is nothing but lena plus ana lena okay fine so just the first one think of it as an exception that's why you said may gift laya or may gift lie 
okay um, and the second one it's basically um, milna um, okay before before milna let me do actually to forget to forget what is to forget Bhulna. Very good. Bhulna. Okay. Bhulna. Okay. Bhulna. And it's nothing but the bh sound. So you have a bh with u, l, and then na. Bhulna. Okay. Um, now again, your mind will tell you you forget something. Okay. Uh, very natural thing. But it is, you know, it's considered in the past tense. Uh, in the past tense, it would be bhula. Okay, bule, bully, and bully. Okay, so when you if you want to say I forgot, JDG, how will you say I forgot? Uh, may bula gaya. Okay, so we're not using bulna plus jana. We're simply saying well, you're right. Oh. You can say bul gaya, but let's say if you want to just simply use not the compound word you want to just say Me bula. very good Me bula. Me bula. you will use this word Me bula. okay jdg saying the compound word which is correct as well Me bul gaya. oh i forgot okay um we'll come to that as well but assume right now you know we've not done the compound word for 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 delay c so you will simply say Me bula. okay um Okay, uh, and um, let's see. Um, Delia ji, how will you say same thing? Me bully. Very good. Me bully. Okay, it's a feminine singular. Me bully. It's masculine singular. Okay, me bula or me bully. Okay. Um, you want to say Delia ji? I didn't forget anything. I didn't forget anything. Anyone else would like to try? I didn't forget anything. Can I try? Uh -huh. Yeah, Meena, you try. I probably am wrong. My kabhi nahi bhuli. Okay, almost. Kabhi nahi, kabhi is... Um, you use a different word. Which thing? Bhuli. My neck, koi nahi. Okay, so you tried oh, kabhi. Koi bhi nahi. You tried kabhi, you tried koi. Uh, kuch nahi. Very good. Kuch nahi. Okay, so you said, main kuch nahi. Main kuch nahi bhuli. Okay, or main kuch nahi bhula for a guy. Okay, I kuch nahi something basically, right? So I kuch nahi, I kuch nahi bhuli. Okay, uh, there are more use cases of bhul jana, the the verb that JD tried, but I'm just trying to give you the flavor of basic one, right? Uh, bula bully. Okay, any questions on this one? Okay. All right. So I'm not going to go deeper into it. These are just basic ones. I, as I said, you'll be mostly using bhul jana. Okay. So we'll spend more time on it, but think of it as like just an exception category, right? So first one was which one, Jackie G? First one. Lana. Lana. Okay. Lana. And this one is. Bhulna. Bhulna. Awesome. Okay. The next one, the next two we have is. Uh, I'm going to write it down. So he had Lana and we have Bhulna. Now we have Milna and Dharna. Okay. So to meet. Okay. To meet is Milna. 
okay and to uh, to get scared right to fear okay to fear is darna okay so you have da r and na darna okay you have darna and then you have milna to meet okay again your you, you your mental model would be you will say okay i you meet someone okay so you know there is an object right and also you get fear of someone as well but again these are exceptions so they don't really follow in the past tense they are still basically considered in hindi in transitive verb okay but um, um you are afraid you're afraid like you know when you write it in hindi you know you will think about it as like you know uh, from you get afraid something like from this and you meet with someone okay um so typically these things when you using these two verb like you know you meet with someone right so you will with right so you will use the post position say right so you say say mila or say mili okay um you know when you're simply saying i met i met you're saying me mila okay but it doesn't really make sense like you know all you're doing is you have the verb milna you remove the na and you change into the past tense you said me mila okay for a guy masculine singular for a girl you're saying me mili okay me mili but typically when you want to say you i you say i met with or you have someone okay so let's say um ananni saying i met radhika i met radhika so even though you don't see anything but in you know you there is an implied with you meet with someone right so nandini ji how will you say main radhika se mili yes main radhika se mili okay so it says coming after radhika okay so main radhika se mili okay just notice that there is no nay here main radhika se mili okay and then let's see um who uh let's see how will else you will use it uh okay tom how would you say the same thing she may says may radhika se mila very good right so if tom is saying it, it would be may radhika se mila okay may radhika se mila okay um now let's do some more i didn't meet anyone and this one is for all of you try it out i'm changing the sentence slightly that you know uh, let's say you have a you have a lot of friends in new york you went to new york but your schedule was very tight you went in the morning and you came back in the evening anyone to say oh i went there i went to okay how about this i went to new york again past tense past indefinite i i went to new york but i didn't i didn't meet anyone no yes please try you can all try it out actually you can write it down okay you can write it in the in the in the chat okay awesome delhi so don't forget the post position okay you meet someone right you meet someone or you didn't meet don't meet someone right so uh, the post position right is an implied with there very good okay let's try everyone um someone who has not tried before let's see sandhya ji you want to give it a try and it's okay if it, you make a mistake that's totally okay i'm here with you so if you are okay unmute yourself how will you say i went to new york
okay um if you need more time that's totally okay who else sharon ji you want to try this out i went to new york but i didn't meet anyone main new york gayi very good main new york gayi but uh, lekin lekin i don't know if you need another mai lekin mai koi nahi uh mili so almost instead of koi it would be uh mai yeah very good mai kisi um Nahim Mili. You said me kisi. Oh, you need a ko in there. Is the post position missing here? Or say. Yeah. So say it again. Me. And you are gay, like me kisi say nahi mili. When you are gay, like me kisi say nahi mili. Awesome. Any questions anyone have on this one? When you are gay, like me kisi say nahi mili. Anyone who's finding it hard, you can type it in case if you are you want to be on mute. Um, can I just ask you something, Ashuji? Yes, yes, please. And so, if you say um, anyone, you don't say kissy nahi together. Then, yeah, you, yeah, it's the same thing. You're just splitting it out. You're just putting kissy se nahi mili. You okay. do not put se after that. Okay, so it only goes. You only say kissy nahi together if it's. Um, you will not. Uh, you, never you will say not. that together. Oh, okay, all right. So you can say kuch nahi together, but not kissy nahi. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Okay. Anyone? Can you just uh, explain how koi became kissy in this sentence? Uh, so. Who would like to, to tell that actually? She's saying. Say, say. Is it because of the say? It's because of the say. Anji. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Anyone else? Any questions on the exception part? There's a third one, right? We did the the first one, which is Lana, and then we did the Pulna, and now you have uh, you know Milna. Okay. Um, right. So, just remember that, like, it's also an exercise. Like, you meet with someone, right? So, me Radhika se mila, me Radhika se mili. Okay. If I meet with you, me aap se mila. Okay. Or me aap se nahi mila. Okay. Uh, remember, we did pan, and this is for advanced students. Remember, there was a pana part as well, pana. Okay. Mil pana to be able to meet. Right. So I don't want to like for beginners. Don't worry about it. But you can use milna with pana. But the same thing you could have said. Main New York gaya, lekin main kisi se nahi mil paya. Okay, um, you can do that too. Like I could not meet, uh, you know, any of you. I could not meet. Okay. Um, okay. Let's do the fourth one. Um, I think we are doing okay with time. So we we'll do the fourth one, which is darna. Just like milna. You get scared of someone, okay? Uh, darna. This is the fourth one. Darna, right? So it's like you know, share say share is what is share? What is share? Line. Line, right? Share say dara, okay? Or share say darta hu. Like if you were simply saying. You know, present tense. You will be saying, "Main share se darta hu," or "Main share se darti hu." So there is a "se" coming. It's basically implied. You get scared of uh, of someone or something, man. Right? So you know, it's like an intro introductory question. "Aap kis se darte hain?" "Kis se darte hain?" Remember, even in the question, there is "se" is coming. Okay. Um, so let me ask this question. Uh, मीना जी ओके आप किससे डरती है ओके यू टू अनम्यूट आप किससे डरती हैं एंड यू कैन 
use either this or whatever you my uh, song say that thing ho bahut darti hu main bhi bahut darta hu she said i get good kero se right song song so she said song so main saap se darti hu i get scared of snake i me too main bhi okay uh, let's see risha ji aap kis se darti hai Ashu, is it me? Ah, you. Ah, फिर से बोलो. आप किससे डरती है? What am I scared of? हाँ, what are you scared of? Ah, Hindi. Hindi से. Okay, that's not something you should be afraid of. But yeah, thank you, thank you. And Sharmila ji, आप आप किससे डरती हैं? मेरी वाइफ भी कुत्ते से डरती है ओके उसको बचपन में उसको कुत्ते ने बाइट कर लिया इसलिए वो कुत्ते से डरती है ओके शीला जी गुड टू है आप किससे डरती हैं शीला जी Everybody's taking the good ones. Um, <laughs> uh, oh well, we'll do the negative. Me, kuch se nahi darte hu. Kuch se nahi darte. Awesome. Me kisi se nahi darte. Okay. Um, if you're scared of ghost, you can say me. What is ghost? Oh. Very good. Me oh. boot. Yeah, boot. Me boot se darta hu or darti hu. ओके इफ इट इज मेनी बूथ इज लाइक मैं बूथों से डरती हूं ओके बूथों से हैलोवीन इज कमिंग इन अ फ्यू मंथ्स राइट सो यू कैन से दैट राइट मैं बूथों से डरती हूं ओके सो अगेन दिस इज जस्ट टू काइंड ऑफ जॉग यू द द थिंग दैट यू नो व्हेन यू आर सेइंग टू गेट स्केयर देयर इज अ से यू गेट स्केयर ऑफ समथिंग राइट सो सेम थिंग नाउ डू इन द पास्ट टेन टेंस मैं शेयर से इफ आई एम सेइंग इट You I'll say me share se dara. Dara. Okay. And if uh, you are saying it, Sharan ji, you will be saying me share se dari. Okay. And you know, um, Sharmila ji said kutte se. Like so, me kutte se dara or me kutte se dari. Okay. Remember. Yes, yes, please. Can I ask a question? Uh -huh. Um, these are physical things, right? But like, if you wanted to say, I'm afraid of. Say something like failure. Would you also uh -huh. use say with that? So say a sentence. Um, my failure say dary. Okay, so my failure say darty hu. Darty hu. Like it's something that you know you don't want to face. Yeah, it. continuous, right? Yeah. Yes. So my failure say darty hu. Right, I'm scared of failure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Ashi ji, have a question. And if you want to say you're afraid of a person, so do you say like me, Adiya Park, say dirty? Who? Yes, you can say that. You don't have to be scared of me, but you can say that like me, Adiya Park, say that dirty. Yes. Yes. Anyone else? ओके मैं आशु जी के सवालों से डरती हूँ ओके यू कैन से दैट सो यू नॉट अफ्रेड ऑफ मी बट द क्वेश्चन एनी वन एल्स जे डी जी आप किससे डरते हैं कुछ नहीं किसी से नहीं मैं किसी से नहीं डरता हूँ ओके आसम Right. So these were the four. So remember, Jerry, you want to re repeat all the four words which are in the exception list. I'm sorry. What was the question? These were the four words that we covered, which are in the exception. Uh, Darna, uh, Milna, uh, Lana, and what was the other one? Boogie. Boogie. 
भूलना देरी को भूलना यू आप आप भूले यू ऑलमोस्ट so these were the four exceptions okay so now what i want to do is i want us to do the reading exercise okay again um, you know it's a paragraph and you want to read it multiple times because i want all of you to 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 notice the use of um, because the paragraph it has uh, both the transitive verb in 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 the transit intransitive verb both of them in the past tense okay and both the characters are speaking it i know not everyone you know no not all of you know the the, the devnagari script so i'll ask the people who are reading it to read slowly and you guys should just close your eyes so that way you're not looking at the devnagari script you're just listening it okay um and that way you are focusing more on the listening part and at least try to think about in general what is happening if not sentence by sentence so um let's see uh, who would like to uh, Vasavadi, you comfortable reading, right? Yes, yeah, but I don't have the link. Ashuji, I'll, 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 I'll share my screen. Okay, I'll share my screen so you can read it. Uh, who else would like to read? And we'll have multiple turns, so you know everyone will get a chance. Jack, uh, you know JDG, you want to read? Anji. So let me share my screen. Okay, give me one minute. right so there are kavita and deepak okay um vatsala ji you are kavita and um, you are deepak uh, jedi okay it's large enough right you can read it you want me to make it bigger this is perfect okay hey deepak kya haal hai theek hai uh tum uh suna sunao uh kal rat uh tumne kya kiya maine tv mein ek film dekhi aur fir ek kitab padhi tumne kya kiya uh maine kuch nahi kiya uh tumne uh kyon se kyon si फिल्म देखी मैंने शाहरुख खान की एक पुरानी हिंदी फिल्म देखी टीवी व्हाट इज दैट डी डी सॉरी डी डी एल जे आई आई डोंट नो व्हाट दैट इज बट अम शॉर्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द मूवी दिलवाले दुल्हनिया ले जाए दिलवाले ओके मेड इट हार्ड बाय पुटिंग द हिंदी थिंग इनटू english thing in gdl yeah. gdl yeah. um, gtv me o oh, gtv me ek sorry gtv me film aayi tumne nahi dekhi uh, nahi uh, kal raat me uh, film uh, no no jal jaldi jaldi uh, so yeah um <clears throat> me meri uh, था मै लागामान आउ आउट आउट आउ एट ओके आउट बेचे सोया मै मै लागामान लगभग लगभग इस तरह आउ log bug oh that's a b oh log bug oh um okay i uh, maine log bug out bache soya uh, tumne uh, kyon si kitab hari maine ek upanyas padha wo amitav ghosh ki nayi nayi kitab hai 
acha uh, kitab uh, kesi hai bahut achi hai acha kal raat kya tumne khana khaya uh, nahi uh, surdari wait a minute that's that same thing okay sar dar sardar Sardard ki uh, badsha se mene kana nahi kaya. That's great. What are some of the new words that you're seeing here, both of you? They were completely new. Well, the words I got wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so you were pretty close. So let's go over them so that way when new set of people are reading it you know it's it's easier and for everyone also what are some of the new vocabulary words there this uh, there this pain and sir there this sir is head so it is oh it's pain and headache headache yes. yeah it's ache sir me dard tha right so sir is head there this ache sir there this headache hanji hanji the other one up in the second sentence was I didn't get <clears throat> the verb there. Tum, tum, sunao, suno. Okay, or suno. This one. Yeah. What does it mean? Suno. I listen. I don't know. It is. It is imperative. You tell what's going on. Like when you like you know. For example, I come, I meet you and like, okay, what's going on? And you're like, okay, I'm all right. Why don't you, you tell me about oh, your Tell story. me. Tell, yeah, it's like tell a story to narrate something. Yes, yeah, so that... you tell, like, I am fine. Main thik hun. Instead of main thik hun, you said thik hun. Tum suna. What about you? So this is nothing but what about you? It's, it's not in the sense of you narrate a story. It's you tell the same. What's a, what about you? So Hindi speakers, instead of like, Either they can say he's saying she's saying hey Deepak kya hal hai? What condition is it? Like or what, what's your condition? And he said, Matik hun tum sunao. You can also say tumare kya hal hai. Same thing. Tumhare kya hal hai. You can also say the same thing. But instead of that, Deepak is saying tum sunao. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Like you know. Yes, yes. Okay. Anyone else? Any any hard word here? Lagbag is approximately. Okay. Yeah, I knew lug bug. I just didn't recognize it. <laughs> I didn't know that was a B. I thought it was an M. Yeah, there are some, you know, it's when Hindi is printed, some words can be hard to, to read. Anyone else word that was uh, hard? Hmm? I have heard. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, no, I have heard the word upanyas, but not in this context, Ashuji. So upanyas is novel. Ah. Tumne konsi kitab padi? Which book did you read? And Kavita is saying, Maine ek upanyas padha. I read a novel. I see. And then Tabiyat, you know, is health. Okay. Yes, Mitaji, you were saying something? It was the same one. It was upanyas. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Um, um, let's read it one more time, but just to kind of highlight it, so not everyone is a reader of uh, Dev Nagari. Tumne kya kia? Again, like you know, you can read that karna is to do, kya is what. Tumne kya kia? What did you do? So this is a past one. Okay, the guy saying man Kavita Kavita saying film dekhi. Maine film dekhi. Okay, maine film dekhi. Kitab padi. I read a book. Tumne kya kya? What did you do? Okay. So if anything, I want everyone as a homework exercise to underline sentences written in the past indefinite. Okay. And then also at least try to, when you're reading it, try to at least dissect where they are using ne and where they are not using ne. Okay. For example, here, tumne kya kya? Maine kuch nahi kya? Tumne film dekhi? Maine Shahrukh Khan ki film dekhi? Okay. Um, similarly, like, main soya. Main art baje soya. You will notice there is no ne here, right? Because this is a transitive word. Uh, yes, Jackie ji. Uh, 
going back to Tung Sunayo, mm-hmm. would that you could only use that as Tung Sunayo, you couldn't say up. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, too soon. Like, for example, if I'm meeting my very close friend, I'll say the other form of imperative, too soon. Like, I'm not going to say, tum sunao, or ap, you can say all the form, or tum su, ap oh, okay. Thank you. Or, uh, you know, or too soon. You can say that too. Right? Thank you. Uh, Ashutosh, I have a doubt in us. Yes, please. Um, Upanyas, does it have another meaning like a religious discourse? Uh, Upanyas, can it have other meanings such as religious book? In this case, no, because she is saying Amitabh Ghosh ki nai kitab hai. Upanyas in general means novel. Okay. Yeah. You, you heard it somewhere else in the yes, context? Uh, in ordinary Hindi, uh, I attended the Upanyas. Upanyas, like even yeah. here. Novel. In general, it's a novel. Mm. Yeah. Because okay. it's similar to the word Upanishad. So maybe Upanishad. that's. Okay. okay, that could be the case that you are thinking of Upanishad, which is religious. In Tamil, it is Upanyas is actually. Oh, really? Oh, really? I think I'm a Tamilian, that's why. Oh, yeah. I can understand it. Yeah. I get that's it. why I think um, I <laughs> Both of you. I learned. Yeah. Something. <laughs> I'm a All right, let's read it one more time. This time, read it, uh, you know, even slower. So, you know, and then as you're reading it, translate it as well. So, who would read it now? Can I read? Yes, go for it. Who's I, that? I know. Uh, this is Meena. I know the script. Okay, Meena Ji. Okay, so you will be Kavita. We need a Deepa. Can I read? Uh... Okay, go for it. Who is that? Nandini. Oh, Nandini. Okay, go, go for it, Nandini. Nandini. Yes. Yes, okay. Bye. Hi, Both Deepak. Kya hal hai? Translate it. One minute. One minute. So, as you guys are reading it, translate as well, okay? Because we will not have another turn. So, yes, read it again. Uh, uh, hey, Deepak, kya hal hai? Do I translate? Yes, you translate. Uh, I'm not so good, but I'll do. Uh, hi, Deepak. How are you? Or how are you Th- doing? Th- I'm fine, thanks. I'm fine. Tum snao kal rat tumne kya kya? So basically, Deepak is saying, why don't you tell me what did you do last night? Uh, my name TV me ek film dekhi aur fir ek kitab padhi uh, i saw on the tv a movie uh, then uh, fir, after that i read a book kitab padhi tumne kya kiya what did you do maine kuch nahi kiya i didn't do anything tumne kaun si film dekhi which film did you see? My name is Shahrukh Khan ki ek purani Hindi film dekhi. I saw an old movie of Shahrukh Khan. Um, uh, yeah, D E A Jo. That is Dilwale. That is a short form of the movie. Yes. G G T film I. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I, what is that? I'm confused there. GTV GTV may oh, I. G, oh, GTV. Oh, my good God. Okay. I saw <laughs> it on. I'm seeing literally G. What I saw it on ZTV. Yes. Didn't you see it? Yeah. No. Kal Rath may. Jaldi Soya. Last night I slept early. Mary Tabiat Teak Nahiti. My health wasn't good. Wasn't okay. Kya hua? What happened? Mary Sir me dharta. My head was hurting. There was pain in my head, sorry. Me lagbag 
आठ बजे सोया आई स्लेप अप्रोक्सीमेटली अराउंड अप्रोक्सीमेटली एट एट ओ क्लॉक तुमने कौन सी किताब पढ़ी विच बुक डिड यू रीड मैंने एक उपन्यास पढ़ा आई रेड अ नॉवल वह अमिताभ घोष की नया किताब है दिस इट वॉज अ न्यू नॉवल बाई अमिताभ घोष अच्छा किताब कैसी है ओके गुड आई डोंट नो व्हाट अच्छा मींस ही आई हैव टू एक्सप्लेन इट आई रियली डोंट नो व्हाट शी डी व्हिच वन ग्रेट द अच्छा हियर अच्छा ऑल राइट गुड ऑल राइट ओके गुड ऑल राइट किताब कैसी है हाउ इज द बुक बहुत अच्छी है इट वाज वेरी गुड बहुत अच्छी सो इट इज वेरी गुड अच्छा कल रात क्या तुमने खाना खाया ओके व्हाट डिड यू ईट लास्ट नाइट नहीं नो सर दर्द की वजह से मैंने खाना नहीं खाया बिकॉज ऑफ हेडेक आई डिड नॉट ईट एनी फूड दिस इज ग्रेट आई एम गोना स्टॉप द शेयरिंग पार्ट and uh, i'm going to stop the broadcast part as well so folks who watched live on facebook thank you so much for joining so to recap we did four exceptions today right where the verbs in the past tense uh, in english they are transitive but hindi they are not considered transitive right so just remember you know it's lana to bring and then darna to milna to meet and then bhool not to forget those are the four verb that we covered today okay um i know it can be uh, one more rule but uh, it's going to come slowly that's why we practiced you know just multiple times so it, it automatically fits in your brain so you don't have to worry about the rules part okay